Okay, we are back with a full battery, and now we've got the Ryzen CPU Threadripper. This is the 2950X. The reason I went with the 2950X and not like the 2990WX, which is the kind of the step up from this that doubles the cores and everything, is it seems like this was the best performance per core situation for what I wanted to do. I mean, basically, this is mostly going to be like a video editing and... Um, you know, this is my professional workstation that I do all my work on. I do a lot of multitasking and lately I've been doing a lot of video editing and I've been noticing that my, it's about a three year old build now, has been struggling with some of the, especially when the longer videos, it just, it's just chugging like crazy. And, um, I also want to keep up with the more, more modern. I mean, this is kind of exciting. Some of the stuff that are, is happening in the uh, computer world right now, where it's like, I don't know, graphics cards, <sighs> almost seem like they've hit a wall and Intel chips seem like they've hit a wall. So it just seems like Intel just releases another Sandy Bridge, Ivy Bridge, KB Lake, whatever on steroids every year. And it's not really a big deal. Like this to me is, is a revolutionary step up in terms of what you can actually get out of it. And we're going to find out. I mean, I, I could be wrong, but it just seems like uh, everybody is that th this, these things are what they say they are. And it just brings me back to the enterprise world. Like I used to work in corporate America and, you know, I used to build blade servers and um, they were attached to, you know, million dollar sands. And, you know, we had hundreds of virtual machines running on them. And I mean, not that this is in the same league as that, but for something that you can build in your house for a couple thousand bucks, you can kind of get almost to something like, I mean, with that 10 gig, uh, connection on there if I were to get us uh, and there is storage there is pretty affordable central storage that also has 10 gig connections on it that I'm, I'm actually looking at now um, I mean that is that is pretty pretty radical stuff to have in your own like home office setup in terms of performance and then with this thing uh, I expect to be able to uh, really chomp through video editing and actually be able to I mean right now when I'm editing video I can't run anything else on that it's an i i7 6700 with a 1080 Ti uh, and I think it's just regular DDR4 2133 RAM everything's overclocked and it I mean the system runs great but I'm expecting this to be a, a, a massive step up in terms of performance. So let's get it open and see which, ooh, we're going to rip here for the thread ripper. So there we go, the 2950X. Uh, and, you know, so anyway, the last thing I was going to say, if you jump up to the 2990WX, which is the next step up from this chip, you do go to, um, I think it's 64 uh, cores or something. Is What, what is this one? 16 core. No, this is the 16 core 32 thread. So you would jump up to the 32 core 64 thread. But at that point, each core runs at like three gigahertz or something. And whereas this is three and a half, which I think four of the cores are already overclocked to four gigahertz. And then the rest of the cores run at three, three point five. Um, with, I think there is some turbo in there if you, if you to jump up when it gets busy. Um, but when you jump up to that next one, you get more cores, but they all run at uh, much lower speeds. So it just seems like for what I wanted, I, I, I mean, I think those WX chips are for like the ultimate multitasking, but not so much just straight performance for what you want to do. I mean, I run virtual machines too. So anyway, that's why I went with this one. And, you know, we'll see if I made the right decision, but I think I did. So there we go. Um, we're getting it open, so sorry for the, you know, rant or whatever. This is interesting. I don't know what's what's going on here. It's oh there there we go. This is gonna oh okay. So it's got a little switch type thing. Opens up, opens up nice, and there you go. Look at the size of that freaking thing. It's unbelievable. I I just. I mean, to me, just the sheer size of the CPU, like I have one, I have a regular Intel CPU that I just took out of a machine that I just sold on eBay, and I haven't shipped it out yet. So just for comparison, this is a typical, and I don't have like all the nanometer size, but this is a, this is an i7, i7-4820K, and you can see that's the size of the actual die or whatever. And then look at it compared to the Ryzen, which is like four times the size. 
And I don't know. That's cool to me. So, anyway, let's see what we get out here. Oops, looks like we got some extras here. So, we'll do what I always do and just rip everything apart. Um, so, we'll look at that in a minute. So, okay. All right, let me get this out of the way. Put this. It's a fucking shitty Intel chip. All right, so anyway, there is Thread Ripper. Freaking beast. I can't wait to. There's the back end of it. Just uh, unreal. I, I'm, I'm, I'm really excited for this. I mean, this is like, as, uh, as builds go, I mean, this is about as exciting as it gets from what I what I can build. Uh, so in this little box, whoops, we got, uh, you know, your AMD sticker, which I may stick on something. I don't know. I don't use, I'm not a big sticker guy. Um, obviously oh, some kind of a socket bracket. Not re really sure what that's going to be for, but I'm sure I'll find out soon. And then, so this is the tool. Uh, I think it's like a T20 Torx. Not that I don't have other ones I could use, but this is actually a pretty sturdy tool. So I guess for my 900 bucks, I got a nice little Torx screw. And this is for actually mounting it. And so the big question mark is, did I get the Foxconn assembly or did I get the other, other one? Because everybody says the other one is better. So I'm going to find out. So just a quick update here. You heard me mention it in my uh, in the video that I was wondering if I got the Foxconn socket or the other company, and it looks like um, I got the Lotz. Let's see if you can see it here. Sorry, when I get too close with this thing, it just goes out of focus on me. But anyway, if you can see that there's some uh, text on there, it says Lotz, L-O-T-E-S. So I think I got their socket and not the Foxconn socket, which is good news for me because a lot of people were saying that the Foxconn socket sucks and uh, I didn't get one. So anyway, quick update. So that's on the uh, ASRock X399 uh, Fatality. And I don't know if some ship with Foxconn and some ship with Lotz, but I got the Lotz. So that's good news for me. Anyway, well, we'll find out. I'm going to build it soon. So that's it. I mean, that's, I'm not going to, I'm not going to bother unboxing the RAM, but, um, I'm excited for this. So I'm going to try to actually get this thing built and up and running today. Uh, and I'll document as much of the process as I can. Um, but that's it for the unboxing. Uh, so that's your, uh, AMD 2950X Threadripper, uh, CPU, uh, the Noctua, uh, what the hell? Let's take this thing out. I mean, this thing is heavy. These Noctua fans, I mean, if you just want to sort of see, these things are freaking nice. I mean, look at this. Look at this. This thing is no joke. Serious business. So, forgive me for, I hope this thing didn't come with an extra fan. Oh, no, that's like CPU. Uh, CPU grease. I did buy the Arctic. I'm just going to use the Arctic, I think. Um, although the Noctua sends you some as well, and it's probably really good because they don't they don't mess around. It's really nice, really nice. Everything Noctua does is just really high quality. This is like the Mercedes Benz of CPU coolers. I really feel that way. So you can see there's the giant uh, socket on the bottom. And just look, I mean, this thing is big and it weighs. I mean, I don't know what it, what it truly weighs, but it's heavy as CPU fans go. So um, anyway, just some one connector. There's this. So we're going to... I'm going to play around with that as well. But these, these things are so nice. Like I said, I just cannot say enough good things about Noctua fans. And uh, so I guess it's time to get to work. The first thing I'm going to do is update the BIOS on this thing um, because I was seeing that that needs to be done. And uh, so I'm going to have to pull a power supply from somewhere um, when I've got an idea where I can get one. So let me do that and then... Um, 
and I'll see if I can film that. Oh, thanks for watching.